What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are talking about the market as per usual, man. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. Before we do get into that, we're going to go into these locker codes, man. We got a lot of locker codes to go over. So if you guys are new, man, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, all that good stuff. It would be appreciated, man. Um,. And we get hit 50 likes in the video within the first two hours. We'll do a nice giveaway, man. We gotta do a giveaway on Twitter sooner or later. Um, if you guys don't follow Twitter and our Instagram, make sure to follow it. And if you guys are into trading cards, make sure to follow my second channel as well as follow the TikTok. But here we go. Um, we've been posting a lot on TikTok. If you guys can go, please follow that, man. It's down below in the description. I recommend getting TikTok. It's actually pretty cool. But here are some locker codes if you guys missed out. Um, season dash five dash idols dash super dash packs. Opal dash quantum dash Kevin dash Durant seven Jordan dash last dash shot season dash age dash of dash heroes and then community hub. So one, two, three, four locker codes that are pretty new. Um, this one's a little old, but yo, we're gonna have some super packs probably Friday. Not super packs, new packs Friday. Um, uh, what's gonna drop? My opinion, I think we're gonna get some flash. I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy to be honest. I think um, the content's getting very dry, in my opinion. I don't think, like, the content they've been dropping is hype at all. Honestly, I'll give it to them. The, the Luka and the Shaq content was pretty cool. But um, this Super Pack content drop was not cool at all. Um, I don't think the Super Pack drop was literally good at all. They literally dropped a tone. Like, the only new content they dropped in the Super Pack was Tony Idol's MVP. Who wants an Idol's MVP? It's not even for the set. So, in my opinion, I think the Super Pack drop was foolish. It didn't really do anything to the market. I don't even think a lot of people open these super packs. I think they're just a giant scam trying to make them some extra cash. So if I were you, I would not pop these packs. These are a little scam. And also, if you guys do need MT, hit me up. I am buying and selling MT on Instagram and PS4. I'm very legit. I'm not I'm not Instagram and PS4. Instagram and Twitter. And I'm selling it on Xbox and PS4. So if you need MT, man, make sure to hit me up. We're going over the market as per usual. We're here to make some MT, not lose MT. Now I'm going to give you my tips. We're going to go over the Opals first. Um, it looks like Shaq Quantum, Quantum Shaq has dropped a ton on MT. He has dropped a lot. So now KD's still up there. KD, I guess, is the best Opal in the game because he's very expensive. He has very amazing stats. All right. So, um, Quantum Shaq's up there. It looks like Tony Parker is now a buyout, which is kind of annoying. They released him on purpose in Super Packs just so he does become a buyout, which is super scum. Um, so now the opal filter is pretty much gone. I don't know if it is on Xbox, but it looks like Tony Parker is becoming a buyout, which is a giant L for us, man. It's, it's an L. Um, so there goes the Tony Parker. We're going to go over some stuff. We're probably going to start playing online. I got to buy online for this account. We might start streaming very soon. I just, I'm scared of getting banned, man. I don't want to get banned. Um, but opal galaxy Opals, man. Is it a good time to sell your cards today? In my opinion, is it a good time to sell your cards? Well, here's the thing. I think you should, you should, honestly, should you could you should sell your cards because as the season goes on, we have 30 days left in the season already. The time's flying by. We have about four weeks left and like two days. So like four weeks, let's just say four weeks left, right? So four weeks left, the season's flying by. There's just gonna be more and more Galaxy Opal drops. What you should do today, since the market isn't even that crashed at all, it really isn't. It's just like a random, it's just a flooded market that a lot of people want to sell their cards at. I think it's a great time to sell your cards. Maybe hop on, get some cheap players, play with your budget squad, because right now, man, the market just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing. I don't want you guys to keep losing MT. It's just really not a good idea. It's just a great time to sell. It's a great time to buy. It's honestly just a great time to do anything you want. Here's a tip. Get rid of your opals. Buy some pink diamonds. There's some great pink diamonds like this pink diamond Przingis. There's some cheap pink diamonds versus opals that you could buy and make a god squad with versus your 500, 600k opals. My opinion, man. Sell your opals. Get some pink diamonds. Save a lot of MT and build a god squad off the pink diamonds. Not only that, you can grind some single pair TTO. Get a free opal. Don Ole. He's literally goaded. A pink uh, a galaxy opal point guard. In my opinion, man, it's time to sell. 
It's time to catch up with the market. And I'm going to check out our investments, man. See what's going on. See if they're still cheap. And look at this. They're still cheap. They're going to go up in value. It's just going to take a little time. So <clears throat> they're not getting posted as much as they were, which is good news, which means you could make some MT um, pretty easily. So I think right now the market is slowly rising, but the Galaxy Opal N, I just think you should never own any Galaxy Opals right now. It's only a matter of time before they drop even more Galaxy Opals. They still got trade. They still got a Vince Carter Opal to drop. They still got a Larry Bird Opal to drop. They still got a Carlin New Towns. They still got a lot of Opals they could drop. They still have a throwback Opal Dwight they should drop. Um, maybe even a better LeBron. Maybe a better Giannis. There's big stuff coming. Now, is it going to be this week? I think this week's content is going to be dry, which means the market might rise even more. But I'm telling you right now, on the Opal end, I would sell all your Opals. I would get ready for Pink Diamonds to drop. Pink Diamonds are literally the, the Pink Diamond tier of last year, if you really think about it. So, Pink Diamonds? Low-key goaded. Like, literally goaded. Even the Zion. They're going to drop a new Zion. We got the All-Star game coming up soon. What does that mean? Look at this. Zion's a buyout. The All-Star game is coming up soon. You know what that means, man? They're going to drop a lot of players. All-Star weekend in 2K is always fun. They always drop a lot of content. It's always interesting. And I think, guys, it's going to be great. It's just going to be a great day. It's going to be a great time. All-Star weekend's coming. You're going to want the new All-Star cards. You're going to want current day cards. You're not going to want any of these OG players, bro. Trust me. When All-Star game comes out. What is the All-Star game? Isn't it like a month? Is it the next week? I don't even know. But whenever that All-Star game comes out, there's going to be a market crash. There's going to be a lot of new content. There's probably going to be a new BAM. There's going to be a new Jimmy Butler. There's going to be a new Zion. There's going to be a lot of new stuff. So my personal preference, man, it's time for you to get onto the new stuff and get rid of the old. Or actually, get rid of the new stuff, get with the old until the new comes out again, and then the old new becomes old. That's how you ruin 2K. You never want to buy the new players unless you pull them, then you can keep them for a little bit, but then you lose MT. If you want to make MT, you sell your team, you work the Amethyst filter, you invest in Amethyst like Drazen Petrovic and that new power forward, you peep the Diamond Snipe filter, you go with the lower value cards because you have a very low chance of losing MT. And if you lose MT, you're going to lose 100 MT per card max. So that's what's so good about investing with the cheap guys versus the high guys. If you invest in a guy that's 100K, he only stays at 100k. What happens is um, you actually lose 10k MT of reduction. And not only that, I've noticed if you want to invest in a guy that's on the border of a 100k buyout and a 100k bid, don't invest because you actually never make MT that way. They always end up dropping even more and they never really end up going up unless he's in a set. So that's another tip. But yo, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. We're going to end this video off by popping another pack and um wish me luck hope we get a nice little opal or a nice little glow and we get nothing there but yeah that's all we got for the video hope you guys did enjoy stay tuned for more content have a good one peace